Now we want to solve a question on resistors in parallel. Here we have a question that says, what is the reading on the armature when the switch is open? When the switch is open, this is the switch. Now, when the switch is open, what does that mean? That means this entire right hand side of the circuit is completely isolated. And this is what we have left in the circuit. What does that mean? That means the circuit looks just like this 24 volts. Good. So when the switch is open, it means this right hand side is completely cut off. And this is all that is left in the circuit. And that is what I have done here. So the current flowing in the circuit, in this particular circuit, that is what the ammeter will read. Okay? So how do you find the current in this case? You just say V equals to IR. According to Ohm's law, V equals to IR. So if you find the value of I here, you get the current flowing in the circuit. I want to clean up this circuit because it's not part of the solution. So I'm cleaning up the circuit. The diagram is not part of your solution. Now let us start solving it. So ignoring this part of the circuit, focusing on this part, we use um, V equal to I R. What's the voltage? The voltage here is 24 volts. So you have 24 equals to I. I is the meaning of the ammeter, which we do not know. I multiplied by R. R is the only resistance in the circuit, which is 8 ohms here, multiplied by 8. So if 24 is equal to I multiplied by 8, to find I, we divide both sides by 8. 8 we cancel 8. So we have I equals 24 divided by 8, we have 3 amperes. So that is the current flowing in the circuit. Let's go to the deep parts. What is the reading on the ammeter when the switch is closed? Now, when you close the switch, then you have this parallel arrangement. When you close the switch, the circuit looks like this, okay? So you have parallel arrangement. So you have I1 flowing through R1, then you have I2 flowing through R2. I1 flowing through R1, then you have I2 flowing through R2. So how do you get the total current flowing in the circuit? You have to calculate the effective resistance. Okay? After calculating the effective resistance, then that is the resistance we use in this expression for Ohm's law. How do you calculate the effective resistance? Let's use this formula. This is the formula for calculating the effective resistance. 1 over R effective resistance equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Let's go. 1 over effective resistance. R1 is 8 ohms. R2 is also 8 ohms. 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8. That will give you 2 over 8. And that equals to 1 over 4. OK? So 1 over R e will give you 1 over 4. So if 1 over R effective equals to 1 over 4, we can cross multiply. So we get R effective equals to 4 ohms. That's the effective resistance of the entire circuit. Now we can calculate the current flowing in the circuit. You know, the current flowing in the circuit, that is what the ammeter will read. Okay? The current I, that is what flows through the cell. And that's what flows through the ammeter. That's what the ammeter will see. The ammeter will see the current I. Okay? It is this current I that will split into I1 and I2. What is the current I? From the expression, V equals to I R E. Right? Good. Where V is the voltage in the circuit. Let's go. The voltage in the circuit is 24 volts. So we have 24 is equal to I multiplied by 4 because the RE is equal to 4. 
So if 24 is i multiplied by 4, how do you get to ROE? 24 divided both sides by 4. Right here. So 24 is equal to i multiplied by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. 4 will cancel 4. So i 24 divided by 4, you get 6. Automatically, i equals to 6 and 2. That is the current the parameter will read 6 amperes. So from this, you can see that the total current flowing in the circuit is 6 amperes, and that 6 amperes is split into 3 amperes and 3 amperes. Why is it split into 3 and 3? Because R1 and R2 are equal resistors. So that is the easy way to solve this problem. Thank you very much for watching. Do have a nice day.